The Sims 4 is rated T for teens. Hello, this is Brandy, aka Pixelated Twix, if you're new here. First off, welcome. And if you're an OG, welcome back to my little corner of Al Gore's internet and to another episode of season two of Journey to Redemption. We are at the Champion's House, and I thought this would be a good way to, to kind of start this episode, if not just spend some the entire episode uh, with the Champion family, because I feel like this is a necessity to the story. Um, we want to check on, see how Nico's doing. And from the looks of it, he's not doing so well. His social life is just kind of hit rock bottom. Um, he hasn't really been going anywhere. He's been coming home, doing his homework. And that's it. It's a Friday night, Friday afternoon. He doesn't have any plans. Um, he had an awful day at school, it looks like. He's just extremely lonely, and he's just he doesn't feel like doing anything. And when he walked in, I noticed that he had the little broken heart bubble. I would assume that this has something to do with Tati. He's been trying to, um, he has been trying, oh, he's taking a nap. He's been trying to find out where Tati is, and no one's really, like, saying anything. Um, he, he can't get any information at school because it is, um... It's it's confidential information. He knows that Tati um, more than likely moved in with her dad. He just doesn't know where. Um, so he he's really concerned. He wants to know what's going on with her. Um, he's tried to contact Tati's mom, and she hasn't been responsive either. He's showed up at the house unexpected, and... Um, Grandma Lily has been accommodating, but she doesn't feel like it's her place to say anything right now, um, or at least she hadn't before she came to visit Melisande. And we all know what happened in the last episode, if you're keeping up. Um, Melisande um, and Grandma Lily had it out, and, um, you know, Grandma Lily got with her about her <laughs> granddaughter and the fact that her great-granddaughter is being ostracized from her family. Now, granted, granted, some of that was Tati's doing. A lot of that was because if Tati had just been straightforward with Nico in the first place, um, this would not be happening. Melisan is in her zone. She is feeling no guilt, none. I don't understand. She knows, she knows. I, look at her. I don't know how she can sleep how can she live with herself she has a granddaughter you guys and her son is a father and she knows this and refuses to say anything Ooh, baby stinks okay let's let's take care of bianca's needs um but i think that's where melisande's um where she where her concerns lie are completely um with her baby, and that's it. She doesn't care anything about anyone else except her child at this moment. Oops, I did not mean for him to, I meant for him to use a restroom. And maybe we can have him take a shower. Maybe he'll feel better. Nico, wake up. Honey, why don't you go somewhere? It's Friday night. Get out the house. I don't really feel like it, Mom. I I just want to chill here at the house. Why? You're young. You need to enjoy life. It's not good for you to sit up in this house all day. Mom, I'm good. I really am. Just go out. Go, go call Tempest. Why would I call Tempest? Just call her just to get out the house go hang out with some of your old friends what about Gio what's going on with him are you serious mom Nico I'm telling you get out of this house go have some fun you're really trying to push this aren't you yes I am I don't want to see you locked up in this house any longer than you have already been 
You've been moping around since that girl left. That girl has a name. Her name is Tati. Well, whatever. Just, I don't want to see your face until your curfew. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> she looks like Chitara. <laughs> All right, um, so Nico's gonna, just to appease his mom, give some of his friends a call, and I think he's going to see if Talon's available, and um, maybe he can just hang out with some of his buddies. He does have a club, um, I think. Oh, what is this? Anger management. Sometimes I just get so angry that I don't want know what to do with myself. How can I deal with things when I can't, can't even? So he's at this point, I think, gone from sadness that Tati's gone to complete anger uh, because she hasn't returned his phone calls. And he knows that she knows he's been trying to get in touch with her. So now he's just ticked. Um, so he's asking his, I guess he's asking his dad because he's looking in the direction of his father and his father has no idea really what's going on. His father's kind of oblivious to the situation and Nico hasn't really been sharing. I'm really sorry about that guys I live by an airport. Um, I would say that his father would give him the uh, advice to go work out burn off some of that steam, um, it's good for you, and so on and so forth. So Nico's going to not necessarily take that advice, but he does realize that maybe it's best that he gets out the house uh, simply because neither one of his parents are really paying any him any attention. So what I'm going to do is, well, try to figure out where the clubs are, and then I'm going to have him um, hook up with some of his friends and... Um, see what they can get into. So I'll see you guys in just a moment. Okay, we're back. So Nico decided to hang out with his friends, so-called friends. Even Pia came out, you guys, and you know she is the most antisocial. Um, I don't even know how she got invited, considering that she is not considered part of the group. But I think Nico probably, ooh, <laughs> oh, we did that. <laughs> Sorry, guys. What in the world? Uh, yeah, I'm ashamed for you. But um, <laughs> guess who showed up? Yeah. And you guys, look at this. Wait a minute. Oh, my gosh. Okay, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Am I crazy? Wait, okay. I'm going to have to go look, but I'm pretty sure they hated each other. But, I mean, maybe they've been talking. It's a possibility. Um, I haven't really been paying a whole lot of attention to Nico. And it's very possible that they have been, like, kind of talking again. I, But as far as I know, his social was kind of, well, it's back up. So they might have been flirting. Um, they are talking. And um, he seems to, let me go see what they're talking about. Tempest. I missed you. Whoa, wait a minute. Not, no, I'm not ready for that yet. I thought we were having a good time, Nico. We were hanging out as friends. Uh, that's the most I can offer right now. It's that girl, isn't it? What is it with you and my mom? Her name is Tati. Tati, whatever. I miss you. Did you miss me? Tempest, I don't really want to be here. I don't even know why I'm here. <sighs> I don't think he really wants to be here, but he's here to appease his mom. And why is everybody in the bathroom? Um, this isn't this isn't his cup of tea right now. Who is this guy? He's cute. Um, I don't know who he is. His, oh, that's Dario. Wow. Um, this is his friend Talon. I think he just kind of wants to get out of here. He's not really on great terms with Gio. Well, oh, maybe he is. Looks like they're still friends. I guess. I can't find him on his list. Uh, I don't know. Oops. Haven't paid the bills. Um, What is Shiloh doing, guys? 
Okay. You guys know that Shiloh's the only one of, well, she's no longer the only one, but she's the only one of Tati's friends that knows about her pregnancy. Um, she has no idea if Tati's had the baby yet, but she does know that uh, she didn't tell Nico. So I was feeling a little suspicious. Like, what was she showing him on her phone? Uh, Shiloh, thanks for the laugh, but I've got to get going. So I'm just not feeling it. All right, so he is just not feeling this outing. He, he's trying his best, but you can see he's kind of dancing half-heartedly. He's not really all there. And then Tempest is over here sitting in the corner um, like, ugh, you know? I guess she thought that maybe she would be able to woo uh, Nico back into her life, and it's just not going so well. I mean, they're flirting a little bit, and he's have he's got a little feeling. I guess he'll always love her. But um, he's just not into her right now. He's okay. He's falling asleep. That's pr okay. We're going to take you home, Nico. I can see that you don't want to be here. And I definitely don't want to force you to be in a situation that you definitely don't uh, want to be in. All right. So we'll see you guys at home. So before we leave, you guys, I just wanted to show you something Tempest and Shiloh were in the bathroom together for quite a while. Now, Nico's still asleep on the couch over here, but, um, okay, everybody's asleep, or he was. I don't know where he went. Oh, he isn't listening to the music. But they were in the bathroom talking for a long time. I have a feeling that Shiloh has told Tempest about the baby. Um, I don't know if I all the way trust Shiloh. Um, if you guys... I'm going to go ahead and, and go back to a couple episodes ago. This was in season one. But she started hanging out tight with Tempest. And she even stuck up for her when Tatiana had um, voiced her concern about Tempest not liking her and basically saying that she didn't like her either. And Shiloh invited Tati to a party where Tempest was, knowing full well that they couldn't stand to be in the same room together. Um, I'm going to go ahead and send Nico home, but um, I'm just wondering what that conversation was about. So we're definitely going to have to find out some more um, what happened between the two of them. Um, I'm thinking that we need to uh, visit Miss Shiloh uh, or Tempest. Alyssa, I'm a little concerned about our son. What's going on with him, do you know? Nothing I would worry about, honey. He's just going through a thing. You know, he was hanging around that that girl. Uh, I know her grandmother through my father. Uh, what's her name? Blake? Tati? Yeah, Tatiana Blake. Um, she hasn't been coming around, and I think that has a lot to do with her son's mood switching up. I wouldn't worry about it. You know how teenagers are. Yeah, maybe. But this is unlike our son, and I just want to make sure that everything's okay. If you know, if you see anything, just let me know. I'd love to be more involved with him. He's fine. Believe me. Um. So, yeah, Mason sat down on the couch. It's early in the morning, and... He just wanted to express his concern about his son. I honestly thought that Mason was a little oblivious, but he sees more than I give him credit for. And Melisande, she had the opportunity to tell Mason about the baby, but she's going to hold on to this secret, I guess, as long as it becomes... Um, pertinent to say something and what I mean by that is I believe Melisande will use this to her advantage I don't know I could be um, projecting but I feel like she is going to definitely use this against Tati or against um, Grandma Lily or something even if it's just for her own benefit um, I just I just have a feeling and uh, we'll, I guess we'll just have to kind of see what how things go. But I don't like that she lied to Mason. And, you know, he's <laughs> he trusts her. He doesn't think that, you know, he doesn't have any reason to, to believe that um, Melisande would lie to him. Um, she is at home more than he is. So she feels like maybe she has some insight on 
his son's behavior or their son's behavior. Um, and I think what Mason should have done was ask Nico rather than Melisande. But Mason isn't as comfortable talking to his son as he would like to be um, just because their relationship is not strained, but it's awkward. So he won't ask Nico directly, um, but I think he's going to have to get over that fairly quickly. Um, but I just wanted to stop into the champion family quickly, but um, I wanted to visit Shiloh's house to see what's going on with her and Tempest because that whole conversation in the bathroom, I was a little suspect and I definitely wanted to see if Shiloh divulged information that Tati swore her not to um, say anything about. So I hate to cut off again, but I really want to know what's going on, guys. And I'm pretty sure you want to know, too. So let's go check out Shiloh and her sister. OK, we're back and we're at the um, the O'Shea house. So um, everything seems to be kosher so far uh, but you guys probably don't know anything really about those Shea girls and I guess I should probably give you guys a brief introduction with to them um, Shelby is the youngest of the two and Shiloh obviously is the oldest um, Shelby will be graduating a year behind Shiloh what is this I really want to be friends with someone but they don't seem to really want to be friends with me how can I make them my friend I don't know a whole lot about what's going on in Shelby's life. So I'm going to say her parents are going to be like, you know what, just keep being friendly. Um, and that, you know, eventually that you'll win that person over. If not, then you know what? They don't deserve to be your friend. Okay. So I just want to kind of check on things with them, but just to give you some insight on um, Shiloh. Shiloh wants to be a veterinarian. I think, I think her father is one no he's a businessman okay so our father is a businessman and um Shiloh definitely wants to go into veterinary medicine um her room is very high tech or has a lot of science stuff and she's a nerd um and that's the thing she's a nerd and she's always wanted to fit in with the cool kids um and then her sister Shelby this is her room. She wants to be a best-selling author and a journalist. So that is her aspiration, and, and her room is so cutesy. But um, I just kind of want to dig a little bit further and see what's going on because I feel like she and Tempest, I know that she and Tempest, are, she being Shiloh, are friends. They have to be because, um, yeah, they're friends. So, um, oh, Okay, that's interesting. Uh, she's seen Dario and okay, Dario is actually a like in the cool kids group click, I guess if you want to call it. I mean, he's popular. Um, yeah, he's in the still can't sit with this click. He's a Windenburg Wildcat, so he's in the basketball team and the football team with Nico and um. Or he's on the football team, but he's no, he's on the basketball team with Nico. So like he knows Nico. He hangs out with them. He hangs out with all the other people like Talon, Geo, all of them. So if Shiloh is seeing Dario and she's friends with Tempest, y'all like seriously, there's something going on there. She um, I, I Shiloh cannot be trusted whatsoever. This is like her, her dream, you know, no, most of the time the nerds quote unquote do not get invited to hang out with popular kids. That was just how it was growing up for me. And, um, I don't know if it's still like that. Cause now I guess it's cool to be a nerd, but, um, for her, she was always kind of singled out like her friend Tati. Um, Tati wasn't as much of a nerd per se. She wasn't really into the sciences and things like that, but Tati was just smart. Um, come to think of it, I mean, Tati, 
honestly was probably the cooler of the two because of her love of music and being able to produce um, tracks and stuff like that. But that's not something that she shares with everybody. Um, and the only person that really knows of her like true aspirations to become a music producer is Nico. So, um, and so Shiloh or Shelby, let's see, Shelby, Shelby's also friends with Tempest. Well, I guess that kind of makes sense. She's friends with Dario because Dario probably comes over. She probably knows Tempest from hanging around. Okay. She kind of knows everybody. Um, so I guess she knows the same people as her sister. It makes sense. Um, she would, her sister would probably invite her to tag along. All right, so you guys, I'm beginning to suspect that Shiloh has been talking to Tempest, and Tempest probably knows about Tati's situation. So that's probably the, that's, I'm going to say that's three people now outside of the Blake family that know Tati's secret. I'm definitely Shiloh. We already know that. Um, Melisande, and I'm going to say Tempest makes three. I don't know if Shiloh said anything to her sister Shelby. I don't think Shiloh would because, honestly, I don't think that it would um, it would benefit her to tell her sister. I think Shiloh would tell Tempest so she can get in on Temp- stay in on Tempest's good side because I think Tempest would be kind of wishy-washy as a friend. Um, I don't think that she would be a, a great true friend. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and leave that, leave the episode here. I know this is kind of a, a um, kind of a talk through, but I wanted you guys to see what was going on with everyone else to kind of give you a better idea of all the different uh, pawns in this little chess game we call Tati's Life. So um, I do hope that you enjoyed this episode. Now, about the Tati going to the university, I'm going to wait another couple episodes before I send Tati to university because I feel like she would, um, I don't want to rush her because I want her story to develop. And let's see this. I'm hideous. My face is a mess. I can't go anywhere looking like this. What can I do? Okay, Shallow's becoming very, very vain. Uh, hanging out with you can't sit with us I wonder if she's a part of that club yet um it's fine don't overreact try some light makeup to stay out of sight her mom will probably tell her it's fine honey it's a pimple don't overreact her parents are fairly like just regular parents like don't overreact it'll be fine it's a pimple you're beautiful but I just want to check before I leave you guys I want to see if she's part of um any clubs besides was she part of any clubs? She was in the one. Okay, she's in advanced music. She's in the girls, or those are her groups. Okay, so she's not in You Can't Sit With Us, or You Still Can't Sit With Us. So she's still kind of an outsider. So I would definitely think in order for her to be a, a an official part, even though she's dating Dario, she's still not officially a part of the clique. They haven't fully accepted her. So I think Shiloh would uh, use the information that she knows about Tati to get in with the crew. I just feel like she would. I don't know. Anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys uh, with those thoughts. Um, I wanted to maybe um, poke poke around in your head a little bit and see what you think about what's going on with Shiloh. If you think Shiloh would would betray her friend like that, just so she can be a part of the uh, popular clique, um, do you think that if Tempest knows, do you think she'll tell Nico? Um, I honestly don't know. I don't think she would because she wants Nico back. And the no, if Nico knew that she had a, he had a kid, oh my gosh, that would it would definitely be over for them. Also. Let me know what you think about Nico's uh, flirting with uh, Tempest because that flirt bar was was creeping up there. And um, yeah, that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, And before I leave you, if you're not a member of the family and you'd like to, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. I do hope you consider hanging out with me for a little bit longer. And I do appreciate the ones that have. You guys, I love you and I'll talk to you later. Until next time. Ciao.